and a very good day everyone so today we have a work assignment so now i work as a supermarket inventory analyst so in this my current job i need to do the checking of stock in and stock out on monthly basis so basically every month what i need to do is i need to analyze the inventory movement meaning to say i not only check stock in and stock out but i also need to analyze the movement I need to know what is the difference and what is the analysis. So now if you just say you are using Excel 2019, we can actually use VLOOKUP to match the data and also do some analysis. So let's get started. So now I will just go to the file of stock in report. So now if you look over here, we do have a file called stock in December 2023. So basically what we have in this report is we have the department code department categories item code the items and the vendors that we purchase and we also have the quantities so basically in this given report we do have the stock in meaning to say the inventories that we purchase from the vendors and the inventories that move in to the supermarket so basically this is not only the purchase item this is also the inventories that move in to the supermarket now let us go to the next report. So the next report is stock out. So now if you look in the stock out, we do have the item code, we do have the item, we also have the quantities. So basically this is our sales report whereby we want to show that how many inventories that has gone out, moved out from the supermarket. Basically this is want to show that the inventories that are purchased by the customers, how many inventories that are sold to the customers. So what I need to do as an inventory analyst working in a supermarket is I need to make a comparison between the stock out and also the stock in. And not only that, I need to do the analysis. So if just say you are using Microsoft Excel 2019 or before like Microsoft 2007, 2010, 2013 and 16, you can actually use the VLOOKUP. But first, Alan, how to know what type of Excel I'm using? So you need to go to your file, you need to go to account. If just say you don't have account, there will be more M-O-R-E, you click the more, you will have account over here. So if you have account on your right hand side, it will tell you what Excel you are using. It can be 2007, it can be 2010, 2013, 16, 19, 2021 or 365. But let's assume we are using Excel 2019 or before. So what I need to do is I need to use the VLOOKUP. Why I need to use the VLOOKUP? Because I need to make the comparison first. Okay, so first I do what? I put here stock in. Okay, I want to know how many stocks arrive or how many stocks that we purchase. So I put here equal to this data over here. I press enter. I press control down so that it goes to the bottom data. I go to the right, control shift up, control D. So basically this data over here we do have the stock in but i also need to check the stock out so i go here stock and i put here out so assuming if you are using excel 2019 we can actually use the v lookup formula so v means vertical v lookup means we want to do the lookup so if just say if i want to make a comparison between the stock out report i need to know which is the common column so in this case we do have the common column called item code so what I need to do is I select the item code, I press comma and then I go to the stock out report. So in this stock out report, what I need to do is I need to select column A, column B, column C. I need to select all this column, alright, all this column, all this data and then after that which one I want to know is I want to know the third column. So column number 3, comma and then after that I put 0 because I want exact match. So you can either put 0 or you can put false then i press close bracket and i press enter so now we notice that 367 items of almond slice has been sold so now what i need to do is i just double click over here so now we do have this data over here so we can check how many items are being sold and how many items are being purchased and then not only that i can actually do analysis meaning i put here equal the stock in minus stock out so basically, we do have a balance of 73 items. I double click this. So now we do have this data. So I put here balance. 
okay and then i also want to do some analysis whereby i put here the stock out divided by stock in so now we do have about okay maybe i need to put as percentage you can actually use your mouse and click over here or you can use the keyboard shortcut of control shift percentage or also alternate hp so when you put alternate hp so this is the percentage and then you double click so now you have the percentage of sales and then after that you can actually do some further analysis so maybe what i can do is if this data over here is greater than 50 percent then i'll just say as good sales otherwise i'll put it as average sales maybe not many customers buying close philosophy close bracket there you go so now we have good sales and then i double click so now we do have this data so this one i want to put as percentage okay and then this is the performance or the remarks so let me just highlight all this alternate hoi so now this is the data so basically you can actually do this and you can also do further analysis so i want to put this data over here and i want to do conditional formatting and then after that i just want to highlight so whatever sales that is greater than 80 percent maybe i put here 80 percent then i'll just put dark green okay green fill with dark green text and i press ok and then whatever is just say less than 50 percent so conditional formatting and then i put here less less than 50 percent i put it as red color but then what if just say is in between so i put here conditional formatting highlight cell rules between so i put here between 50 10 and then over here between 80 percent and i choose the color as yellow fill and i press ok so now i can see this is the performance of the stock movement and then over here so i can actually put a different color highlight text that contains so i don't have to write the full word i can just write goo so it's also so good and then maybe i put what i can actually push custom format and then i go to fill i put here green color i put font i put here bold and then i press ok and then i press ok so this shows good sales and if they say average sales i go here text that contain so i don't have to write the word average or the full form i just write av is enough and then i just put here custom format and then i go to fill red color and then i press ok and then i press ok so now if you look over here this can help me to analyze my inventories of stock in and stock out whereby i know what is the balance of the inventories remaining i also know which inventory is performing well that means whichever is greater than 80 percent in between or less than 50 percent i also know the remark of each inventory which is a good sales and which is the average sales